This is a book of the, um, the sort of, well, the astrologians of the Arathi Empire. <laughs> Palaldar. <laughs> They're uh, laughing at us! What they think, okay? They're laughing at us. So. It's very meta. That's been my immediate read. This feels like it is having it up to the point where it's taking the piss out of the cosmic charts. And I think they're very much doing that on purpose. And I think they're trying to horseshoe this to the point where it may as well be a softer magic system because, ah, oh, there's so much. It's so granular, it doesn't matter. You can't keep track of it. Just stories, characters, people with motivations, doing things. Let's move away from the tricky storytelling of hard magic systems. Mm -hmm. uh, it's always that challenging thing. Hard magic systems, very interesting, very fun. Can, can be challenging to write around. Yeah, you know what the cool part about hard magic systems are? Mm. It's when you set up all these rules and then you break the shit out of them entirely for rule of cool, and it's amazing. <laughs> Go read Fate's Day Night, it's wonderful. Spends half, spends like 20 hours of reading going, here's all the rules, and then the last like 10 hours, like all the rules don't make any fucking sense and we only told you half of them, and here's the other half and it's all just busted. And then there's Fate's Era, where it's like, yeah, good magic, here's a gun. Uh, so, unlike our ancestors, we don't limit our thinking of the cosmos to monopole elemental phase spaces, <laughs> fucking idiots. Very trite, very savage. <laughs> a discredited notion rooted in ancient myths from old Arathor. We're old, we're, we're running on the old system. Sad. Comforting if technically oh my God, this is arrangement. This must what it be like. This must, this is what it's like to live in York. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. That's, Go that's on. It. Okay, okay. One wonders if such quaint <laughs> notions would have faded but for creatures like demons and the old gods who work primarily through a single <gasps> a single energy types. Where's the QA blizzard? This conflation of culture and dimensional topology holds back. I think they might be talking to us with this bit. This conflation of culture and dimensional topology holds back so many otherwise promising mages. No, that's also... Say that to my face. Yeah, that's also um, their old writing. Yeah. Do you remember in... Uh, remember, like, Odin? No, yes, Odin in the in the letters. Just being like, this is not order. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, all of the people who have a horse in the race for a sing who use a single cosmic or energy type... They're the ones who are going and pushing it really hard. That's why we get the Blade of Order from the fucking Time Rifts. Mm. Apparently, you go, Blade of Order? Does that mean it's a straight fucking line or what? Like, what do you mean? Ah, anyway. That's like an engineer square. Yeah, mm, right enough. Put simply, the cosmos appears as a hexateron. Imagine a four-sided tetrahedron internally extruded to form a multi-dimensional solid with 20 planes off. Okay, I'm imagining it. I've got it, I've got it held in 15 there. 15 yeah. transitory pathways and six vertices where interferon patterns create mon monopolar expressions of cosmic forces. Which is to say... Yes, I, this is like Mensa Gamer Edition. Yeah. Oh my, so, I, I'm going to need some G Fuel for yeah, this one, so Matt. You, know, you, know, you know the six <laughs> vertices? Yeah. Uh, full Kabbalah, full uh, yeah. Sephiroth stuff. What if all of them were connected and reality isn't just these points? What if reality is the interconnections as opposed to the vertices? I'm confused. Does, um, this, does this mean we're killing Jesus or not? Uh, is the Pope the main villain? Yeah. How does it work? So, uh, more or less. Is this a JRPG help? Uh, no. So oh. <laughs> this is all very simplistic and two-dimensional and uh, whatever the fuck. You've got, like, death, shadow, order, life, light, and disorder are vertices. Yeah. And all of these create different planes, which are substantially more about where the actual world is. It is, you know, this complicated shape. And stop thinking about any of this, because singular energy types are unstable, according to Ogden's law. You know him? He is. Yeah. Yeah, good man, went to school with him. And thus they bind to one or more secondary elements. Oh my god, Frostfire Mage! Holy shit, real, real true, that's actually oh. not, No, no, because Frost and Fire are- well, actually, shut, actually, I'll shut up. <laughs> the Firelands contains as much magma as it does flame. And why? The holy radiance of the sacred flame acts as an internal beacon. Yeah. And that so that's why everyone's going, holy flame? Is that shadow flame? But the Naru yeah, is. And then this book said, fuck up. Be quiet. No one cares. Do you, do you know, this explains why Pokemon have two types. It does, yeah. Yeah. It does. Incredible. 
Um, now, I think, you see, when they're going to the multidimensional solid with 20 planes of existence, 15 transitory pathways, six, blah, 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 interfere on patterns! Sounds like a Captain Scarlet thing. <laughs> mm, yeah. So, yeah. Oh no, Matt, we're... Oh no, oh god, oh god! <laughs> See, as soon as I do that, then... Yeah, it stops, yeah. Yes. We're being blasted with interferons now! <laughs> um, th mm. That is them, I think, uh, amping it up to the point of absurdity to make a point, and also, in a way, to further their storytelling. So, um, this is a bunch of academics. A bunch of academics of some far-off, you know, of the, um, the Garlean Empire. Often Garibald. That's just who the Arathi what? are in my head now. <laughs> okay. Um, sure. You know, they're, they're far away. They're far away, and they're very mean and nasty. Uh, and they have these, these mages. That's what they think. But they're just a bunch of nerds. Mm. That's the point. <laughs> the point is, they're just a bunch of nerds. Do you know what matters? This mm. is rocky fire. This is holy fire. This is spooky fire. Yeah. And these different people are using the sp Oh, no! What happened? The spooky fire people are coming. Yeah, so clearly... It's softening it. It's, it's yeah. basically saying all of this stuff is, you know, so complex and, you know, wah, wah, wee, wah, that uh, don't think about it. You know, it's... um, Yeah. It's literally saying <laughs> this is more complicated than it is in reality. None of this really... It, like, it's all real. It's all true. But it doesn't particularly matter for how you view the world because the cosmos is, in fact, uh, conflicts of all this. And the way I kind of visualized yeah. it was, like in my head, was this is... Because this, this did a really fucked up thing where it set reality in the middle mm. as this tiny little, teeny tiny fucking little box, of little, little circle of planet, and then put all of the other stuff all over the place. And we're like, wow, we're kind of small, but yeah. we're in the middle. That's important. But I think rather than reality being the center point, I think reality is more all-encompassing. Well, that's like the thing that your man got crisped for. Do you want to... Heliocent the heliocentric model. Yes, the heliocentric model. Yeah, more or less, <laughs> where I think... this was Of course we're in the middle. We're cool. Yeah, like, this is... Well, heliocentric. The other way. Was, yeah. Fuck me. Yeah. The... Te Terra centric, fine, whatever. I'll die. <laughs> pull a, I'll just pull, guess. Pull a Latin I'll out of my ass. Guess. Yeah. Cheek centric. Yeah. So, I think this like reality is basically a wrapper for all of everything. Yeah. 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 It's all the it's the wrapper of everything, and everything all kind of exists as a sub part of it. Shut up, it doesn't matter. Yes, it is geocentric. Fuck yeah. me. Shut course. up. And, shut up. It doesn't matter. And this is like a big version. It's like ah, here's it from a different angle. But well, this what, is after the, the Taliesin transformation has been applied. Yeah, and like this is kind of what this is kind of it where I'm like, this is this makes decency sense to me. And then you go, well, it's all a big fucking circle and reality is all of it. What if there's a oh, big circle around it all done? Just looked at the OP. Have you? Yeah. 3D spheres of the same placement. Only the camera rotates. Inspired by Taliesin brackets. He did not look at the elements though. Damn. Cod lacking, unbelievable. Well, that means something different. Fuck. I don't know what that means. I don't know. But yeah, basically the point is that this is really silly. Really very silly. Uh, I think they're soft retconning the importance of all of this Shadowlands stuff. They'll keep it literally kind of true, but from a weird way of like, ah, it's, well, uh, I, sh I, sh I should whatever, read it, fine. Matt. I should read it. Read it for the dear people. No, we should. Oh, because it's great. Six oh, voices no. in Discord. Their soundboards playing. Uh, without harmony, the anthem will be ended. Remember anthem. Yeah. Remember anthem. That anthem has been ended. Thank God. Her dreams sing beneath the surface. Quiet now, but her voice will awaken the others. Mortis lumen ordos rhythm and structure vitae umbra to multiprovisition and possibility. The cycle has been broken. <laughs> no. An eternal song stirs, but the threads must be. Oh, don't get me started in the threads. The threads. I'm just thinking about all the different dracas being woven together. That is a. Mm. Obscure reference to an interview from four years ago. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. What if we don't really think oh, about Steve the metaphysics? Stephen is Draca threads. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what if we don't really think about the metaphysics of our afterlife much? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh oh. Whoopsies. Our bad. Won't do that again. 
we'll do that again. The ancestors, fuck it. Yeah, you can talk to them. It's, it's cool. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, so like all of this stuff is there. And I think there's a lot of it's like, um, how do I put it? I think that it's all technically relevant, but they're never going to actually make you need to know or give a shit about it. No, that because, would be insane. Like, yeah, because all this, her dreams sing beneath the surface, quiet now, but her voice will waken the others. <gasps> It's like, yeah, what what are they doing now? Azeroth is now going... She woke up. Azeroth's now giving people dreams. Everyone's like, oh, I had a fucking weird-ass dream. Holy shit, let's go save the world. You're like, spot on. The Radiant Echo, whatever the fuck it's called. The Radiant Song. There you Radiant go. Song. That's what they were talking about. Did they know that at the time? Probably something close to it. But they're going to pull it into something that is less absolute fucking waffle. And instead will be kind of along the energy of... This conflation of culture and dimensional topology. It looks... That line specifically gets me. Because we're like, oh, the void is like this. Oh, the light is like this. And they're like, shut the fuck up. Shut realized. the fuck up. No, the <laughs> old gods are like this because they're the old gods. Not because they're void aligned. Yeah. The yeah. void lords are like this because they're fucking bad guys. Not because they're the void. There is an element of the theming that still stays true. Mm. Obviously, they can't go back and say, well, the void's whole thing of infinite possibility has nothing to do with the number zero at all and what void means. And light, that's nothing to do with the religious connotation of, you know, having one prayer in one way and seeing one thing to the end. That's all going to still exist, but they're not going to work that into, like, how they're really telling the story in a big way. Mm. They're just going to be like, eh, it's all fucking background stuff that's cool for you if you're following it, but... The Oracle has been photographed mid-diss track. <laughs> yeah, certified, no, uh, I'll just say the word. So, yeah, I think... Rhythm and uh, structure. Yeah, I think that's the... Ah! Uh, I think that's kind of the point. Yeah, where it it's is. Like, like specifically, like you know, se- they they bind to one or more secondary elements. I've just seen it's the, just ass fine. The name of volume three. It's called Part Three: A Victim of Lesser Intellects. Yeah. Part two. That's what I call A testament it. to a singer, single, singular intellect. Ooh. Uh, I can fix this. I can fix this. I can fix this. You can fix it. Point. There we go. There we go. <laughs> hey, yo. Yeah. Int. One, one int. Have fun. Uh, yeah. You may hear the song, but you will not understand it, Matt. Me. me oh, and, my God. M- me when I'm in Korean karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> the six forces that pointed towards the, towards the seventh and yet denied it. It was both six and seven. The six were one and the seventh the other. I thought the seventh, eighth, the ninth. <laughs> Did they desire union? The song seemed to say otherwise. Both were, yet only one could be. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I remember the first ones. <laughs> Moving I'm on. guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing, like, what this is saying is, you know, quantum field theory. Well, that makes a potato. And the potato's a potato. <laughs> yeah, it's just shut up and crap. Like, like, yeah, is the potato just, a, I don't know, result of fucking quantum field shit? Yeah, but it's also just a potato. Eat it. Yeah, just mash that shit there up. There you go. <laughs> don't need to worry. Mash that shit up, throw in some cream cheese, off you go. Dinner. So, yeah, that's uh, that's this lore bit where I think they are very much telling us to go oh, yeah. pay attention to the things that are happening and not paying attention to like the, the super deep cosmic background uh, shenanigans. They have winked and they have mm. nudged. Mm.